This review has been brought to you in part by airsoftpart.com. Hi, welcome back. Oddie's Airsoft, and today we're doing a review or more of a spotlight on the Molly Tactical FSBE style tack vest. Now, this is from airsoftpart.com. And before I get into it, I want to say this is a cheap vest. This is a star out vest. This is shipping with free shipping for around the $50 mark. So it's a superb bit of kit for the, the money you're paying. Um, from a young onset, I will say, in the blurb, it says that this will fit a 44 inch chest, not a chance. I'm a six foot one guy, around the 15 stone mark, and I can tell you, this is like a corset on me. This is tight as hell. And this is with all the fittings pulled out to their max. And uh, so if you're a bigger guy than me, this ain't gonna go anywhere close to being near you. Um, I think it's more designed for the younger guy. Um, somebody starting off airsoft, this is going to be a perfect first vest, especially if you're into CQB and you like your darks. Um, but let's get into what we have for the money. Typical admin patch with Velcro on the front, so you can put on your, your Velcro real estate that you need to put on, ID tags and all the rest. Has a little pouch here at the front, but there's no sort of... Um, Velcro to stop anything falling out, so to be honest with you, I wouldn't be using it. Uh, mag uh, pouch here for a hand pistol. Has four uh, M4 style mags uh, at the front, and they have the usual Velcro tops. Now, I have to say, I'm not mad about anything that has a Velcro lid to it. Yes, it keeps them nice and safe, but in a firefight, it's very hard to get into them, and what I would be tending to do is put those in there like that and keeping the mags half sticking out. That's just me, that's personal. Haven't got this tied down but it has the usual molly front which will allow you even take this off if you wanted to put on a different pouch configuration. Inside the front here there is a thick foam ballistic plate wannabe and the same at the back which is probably worth keeping because it will take sort of the impact and sting out of a uh, a direct hit from a BB. Um, on the back there is a medical pouch um, which again will be great for putting in anything like batteries or you know extra BBs or anything else that you want to be carrying. As I said this isn't hugely comfortable on me because it's just too tight and um, as I said you know if you're a younger smaller player this is going to be perfect for, for a first vest. For the money you're getting Look, this isn't up with the you know sort of the real steel vest that myself and Mark tend to wear all the time, which are the uh, UK Tactical Warrior Assault uh, Systems range. But you know what? It's it's it, for the money. You know you can't really fault it. Not used it in game, so I can't tell you the longevity or stitching or anything. But you know, from the onset, I can say it does look fairly good quality. Um, one little thing it does have, and I'm not going to do it because. Anybody who has tried this at home will know this is a complete bugger to fix. There is this strap that you leave hanging out. Now, I wouldn't leave it hanging out. I'd tuck it back up inside of Velcro, and there's a reason for that. What's inside is this, inside the chassis of the, the vest, is this hard steel um, wire. And this holds on... It's got like a hook on the top and it holds everything in place. If I was to pull this cord real hard, uh, the whole vest would literally fall off. And the reason for that is, uh, in the real steel world, if you're in a helicopter or anything where you have to get out of the vest very, very fast, you know, like, as I say, if there's a crash, if you're drowning, this pulls down its uh, rip cord like a parachute and the whole lot just falls off you. The reason why I'm not going to demonstrate that is because it's an out and out bugger to rewire it back through and uh, can be a real pain. So I'm not even going to attempt that because I actually want to give this away to a junior to go and play with and uh, I don't want to have to try and reassemble it and spend the next two hours. It's bad enough, um, bad enough making videos without having to you know, get into reassembling vests. So, as I said, it's, it's a nice little vest for somebody who uh, is a small guy uh, and doesn't want to spend a huge amount of money. As an alternative loadout, I wouldn't look any further, to be quite honest with you. 
So the airsoftpark.com, uh, check them out. They have a whole heap of vests on there. And this is one of their many uh, vests in their range. And as I said, it, look, it's a functional vest. does what it says on the tin. And uh, yeah, give them a, a, a look. This has been Oddie's Airsoft. I'll talk real soon.